I want to talk to you today about weight loss and the truth about what we actually do when we step on the scales, what our body is doing, what our mind is doing, and what is actually right in my mind from over a decade in this industry in order to have success with dropping weight. First off, I want to just let you know that in my mind, weight loss, unless it's for a fight or for weighing in for a certain reason, isn't necessarily going to be the healthiest way to look at your goal. Fat loss essentially is what you want whilst maintaining muscle. What a lot of people will say, toning up. And people judge themselves by going on a diet, weighing themselves at the start, weighing themselves at the end, and they, they label that on whether they are successful or unsuccessful. There's a lot more going on in our bodies than just the number on the scale. When I work with clients, I look into things such as, what is your quality of life like now? How are you able to handle stress? How much energy have you got? How is your sleep? How is your skin? How do you feel? How much more positive are you? Are you less bloated? All these things which can add up to what we call success when it comes to getting healthier, getting your nutrition on point, getting your training on point. However, as soon as some people step on the scale and they may not see the scale weight moving, which I'll let you know that we don't walk around with a number on our head. No one would notice whether we'd drop two pounds or three pounds. We notice because it says on the scale. Unless we have pictures, we may not even notice, and that would take a lot of comparison even to notice this. If you dropped a lot, maybe. And it's always nice when people say you've lost weight. But what else is going on in the body? A lot of diets just rely on dropping carbohydrates or giving you a couple of shakes per day. These aren't sustainable. What carbohydrates do is they give you energy. There's no essential carbohydrates like there are essential proteins and essential fats, but I believe, and with the success of thousands of clients around the world, that carbohydrates become an essential part of our diet. Good carbohydrates that aren't highly processed and you can enjoy and thrive on. Now, when we bring carbohydrates into our body, they get stored as glycogen within our muscles. Alongside being stored as glycogen, they also bring around three to four times their weight of water into the muscle too. So if we have one kilo of carbohydrates in our body, we have an extra three to four kilos of water. We're more hydrated, but even though our body fat would appear lower because the muscles are pushing against the skin more, our body weight would have gone up, which is where a lot of people get frustrated. It works on the flip side too, and why people get even more frustrated when they go on a diet, and the first week or two, they drop seven, eight, nine, ten pounds, and then it stagnates. They feel low on energy. They start to think, is it worth it? Their sleep suffers. They can't focus, because all they've done is cut carbohydrates out drastically reduced calories, but what has happened as those calories, those carbohydrates have taken themselves out of the muscle, those glycogen stores, those energy stores, and they've also taken out that water. So as well as feeling low on energy, we are very dehydrated so you can get headaches and things like that. You'll find as well that you'll probably be, be going to the toilet to urinate more because the body isn't having to hold on to water to pull it into muscles as much. So when you go to look at the scales next time, think, is this number a true reflection of my success in the effort that I've put in? Whether that's in the gym, doing a home workout, or just simply preparing your meals or having your meals prepared for you, which I honestly believe is one of the secrets to the success that I get with clients all around the world.